everybody it's Kelly and I'm back with another layout and this one is another um, layout I think I think you'll have seen this either right before or right after this one um, of my grandkids at the zoo last summer they're on a train here uh, and it was the first time my granddaughter went with us she was pretty unsure of this and I started to do this layout about the train and then with the embellishments it quickly took a different take on it and you know the pictures are there the memories will be there of them on the train I think I even mentioned in the journaling that they are on the zoo train and you know there's not much of a story to tell she looks a little concerned and frightened she was not really talking much here um at all really she would at home when she was you know really comfortable around mom and dad but not much with anybody else um she was good at saying no if her um her middle brother uh, annoys her they're the two um well <laughs> she has a another her younger brother's actually closer in age but he's a tiny baby here i think at at this point actually i had them because their little brother had just been born and i took the kids the following weekend he'd been born the week before and i took them the following weekend to, to give mom and dad a little bit of a rest from the three older so anyway <laughs> Uh, because the train is that bright blue, I decided, or the car we were in, I decided I would um, do this on a red background to kind of pop the colors off and then um, a little bit of blue as well. So the cardstock there is by Basil. I don't have a color there, but it's that embossed dot cardstock that they have. And then I use that lovely red triangle paper, which I've had in my stash since 2014. It's the My Mind's Eye Necessities collection, um, and it's the um, the triangles in the red colorway, or the red colorway, tr the triangle paper. I love that paper, but I just could never make it work on layouts. I don't know what that was, but I had, um, I had a pretty big scrap of it left, and then um, I, Today, I actually used the majority of it left. So then I did cut um, this blue paper down. I, I thought I was going to make it a little bit wider than I actually did. I need to trim this just a little bit more. That blue paper is the Doodlebug Petite Prints um, blue, jean, blue Jean Gingham Paper. And I decided to do just a narrow bend at the right. And then I'm taking this scrap of that uh, teal paper from the American Crafts um, hashtag summer hashtag sunny day paper. And that was um, something that I used on the original layout about the zoo with really the more kind of zoo themed pictures that I used. So I'm just going to trim this down a little bit so I can snug it in. And I like just that plop of teal, pop of teal in there. Plus then it kind of... Um, it, it, it kind of marries that to the other layout and it's so funny because I did four layouts like this on the day I made this and each of them has something sort of in common so this layout to the first one which 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 was the two page layout I did has that teal paper in common and then I've got some blues and some aquas in the next one and then the one after that I use the same floral paper so it was kind of cool how it went even though they're they're different you wouldn't necessarily see them as being um, inspired by the others unless I laid them all out together for you but I just thought this was kind of cool the way it worked all right so then I decided to use a couple of die cuts here so that um, kind of gray cloud there is from the Amy Tangerine plus one collection ephemera the blue one is from the Amy Tangerine Le yes please ephemera and I'm just gonna pop that up and then I have that better together um, acrylic piece or not which is which says you are my favorite it's from um, Amy Tangerine better together so I had grabbed um, there I remember the tiger in the Amy Tangerine um, die cut pieces so when I pulled that out I just kept working with it as I went along and just pulling out what I could and then here's another thing that was in common with the last layout this has a Bella Boulevard um, that that uh, blue circle is from the Bella Boulevard and I don't think I wrote that oh yeah I did the all oh, my stars gift tags 
So there we go. Those Some of those were on the last layout. So we're, we're getting some commonalities here. I usually, you guys, have a hard time using um, the acrylic embellishments like or the transparency embellishments that like you are my favorite is but for some reason this one just worked a little easier for me I liked it's a little bit subtle but you can definitely see it in real life then I wanted uh, something else I really wanted something to go with that circle on the left side and then these just seem to really fit on the right side so these are the Ellie Studio everyday labels puffy stickers in the teal colorway so I picked one that says right now one that says love this and just kind of popped them into the clouds and then to kind of make that all work together then I have this other one that says hello on the left side so that adds some more detail in and brings the left and right together Just kind of trying to get that right and that's where I'll do a little bit of journaling there's not much you know it's more pictures of them um, and I I know that says you are my favorite as I look at you know kind of points up to the clouds but I could have cut the arrow off but I decided I like the pop of red in it and whatever <laughs> make them work for you right all right, so now I'm thinking, can I add any more of these little um, stickers in? And I didn't think I could. So now I think it's time to get this um, attached because it wasn't. So I just put a little bit of adhesive on the part of this that's going to stick underneath. And then I'll put some more over the top of it there. And again, kind of looking to see toying with putting that piece there but it just feels out of place thought about putting it up there because there's that big red space up there on the layout but then when I thought about that I decided I really like this you are awesome puffy sticker it's a little bit larger so it has more presence up there at the top oh changed it sorry changed it out for the you are awesome puffy sticker again from those L studio labels puffy labels really love how that looks all right then I grabbed these hearts these are really cool they are from um, Mrs. Sparkle which is like Joanne's I think it's like a dollar or dollar fifty spot I have had these since last fall sometime and I haven't used them I love them because they have this really cool like epoxy over it so it makes them puffy and they're shiny they're really cool so I finally got them on a layout I, I think I've just been working so hard and getting older products in I didn't do anything with these and they're kind of a cute alternative to enamel dots so I've scattered them throughout the layout here and I love how they look in the end Okay, just getting those in I made sure there was at least one in each cluster and then that big cluster has three now I probably could have journaled on that um, teal paper to the right but I decided I really didn't need to do that I didn't have a ton to say about this it's just you know pictures my granddaughter looks a little scared because she wasn't quite sure what was gonna go on there and it was funny, I ended up using all three of these because one of the kids looks goofy in all of the layout, in all of the pictures. So I figured at least this way they didn't, you know, at least there was one they looked good in somewhere. I'm adding that, tobby, that twine from the Paper Studio, which is from Hobby Lobby. There's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you guys are well, and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.